Hello, folks, and welcome to FM23, a Liverpool Let's Play with me, Ben. It's good to see you. I hope you find you very well. Of course, starting a new series, do leave your support on the video by getting involved in the likes section of the video. We're going to aim for 3,000. We're going to keep it humble. Let's see if we can get there. And hopefully you're excited to join me on an adventure. With the big selling point is, I'm not going to play Trent at right back. There you are. Sold. Just like that. Of course, this means the beta for FM23 is out now. If you want to get yourself a copy of that, you can do. There's a link in the description to get it for £32.05 pence using FM23 Benji at checkout. So do that if you want to. Okay, lovely. Let's crack on. But before we crack on, I've got a feeling there might be transfers in this series. There's only one man that I trust to be a major part of this year's adventures with transfers. So let me give them a quick call. See if that not Romano, no. don't be stupid. Someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Care, hey, careful with that. That's an antique. All right. I know we're moving, but that's ridiculous. Ben, formerly of the sports news variety. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I don't like to hear that. Is everything okay? What's gone wrong? Sorry, are you speaking? Ben, Dr. Benji FM, F football manager, YouTuber. <laughs> do, you, do you save those saves? I did make a pretty good save once, as it happens. No. The incredibly popular YouTube series oh. that you might have had the idea for, but never bothered to do. No, that's that's not me. That's Zealand. The American one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the American one. Oh, yes. I'm the one who went on that infamous lower league save with Salford, taking them from the bottom to the top, you know? No, not, no. Not Lisa Legend? Definitely not. No. I created Glory Hunter. Oh, Glory Hunter, yes. Love that this year. I'm in episode 51 though, so uh, don't ruin it for me. <laughs> can't, can't wait to see how it ends. Oh, no, 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 I'd leave it if I were you. I'd, it's peaked, if anything, no, I'd leave I'm it. I'm it, I'm joining. You've just got to Liverpool in it. It's really good. Yes, and speaking of which, right, Liverpool, FM23, I need someone to do the transfer news. Are you in? Well, I mean, I'm not really, not really, not really prepared though, am I? I've done it in years. Ah, oh, well, you know, if you're not sure. No, 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 no. I'm in. Let's do this. Okay, good. I think we're ready. So, we're in. The game is out. And I'm excited. It's a new year. And I need FM23 to shine for me so let's hope that it does and let's begin then our liverpool adventure with the general way which you'll start saying my manager profile has been made the team then with liverpool there's a few issues injury based issues of course we've got the club vision now to play attacking football and to you know develop players with the club youth system something liverpool have done pretty well in recent years to sign players in age 23 again seems to be the idea of signing nunez at least right that's part of that as well increase the commercial revenue and continue the success that they've been having in recent times but of course the target for us this season that's right for for now this is the year right this is not a year where liverpool can rest on their laurels so this has to be a year that liverpool prove just how good they are but with me in charge. I've done Liverpool saves before, but this one is going to be slightly different. We're going to change one man in particular. That's It's a lot of injuries, actually. Goodness me. Five injuries. The big one to Allison is the most concerning of those injuries. I'm just checking development centre as well. So Harvey Elliott, we can call in to the first team with Calvin Ramsey, who isn't as good at defending as you wouldn't hope necessarily. But you can see a goalkeeper issue straight away. I think he's back, though, for the start of the season. It'd be pretty close with Alisson, it must be said. So tactically, what I'm immediately thinking, right, you go for that gig and press style that we're so used to with Liverpool, but there's a few different ways in which we can play it. And I want to start here, right? Before we talk about transfers or any of that, as much as Ben Sports News might be disappointed, I want to talk about where we sit right now with this team. There was a lot of talk about Liverpool not having enough midfielders and budget-wise, £42 million to spend, which is a fair whack of money on an area where we probably need to invest in the squad. Let me know in the comment section which area you think we should go for. Tomorrow's episode will be transfer-based. As soon as this video, I said 3,000 likes, right? If it hits 3,000 by tonight, then we'll do two episodes tomorrow, one in the morning, one in the evening of this save. So we'll really crack on as much as we can, give you as much video content as possible. Let's see then what we can work with here. And I'm thinking this man is crucial to everything we're talking about and i've had a few thoughts on Trent alexander arnold and i'm gonna say it and I've, you've heard me say it a moment ago he's not gonna play it right back okay there's a lot being said about him at right back and i'm not gonna cop out and go we're gonna play him at right wing back oh no 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 
We're going to play him with central midfield. Okay, that's where we're going to give him a go. Because a lot of the talk around Jude Bellingham coming in, right, with Liverpool, is how are they going to work this? What are they going to do in the future with Liverpool? How's the midfield going to evolve from Milner, Fabinho and Henderson? Well, we're going to kick things off with Trent Alexander-Arnold, who, of course, himself, only 23 years of age. Let's get him straight in there. Probably as a playmate, probably a Mazzala type, I'm thinking. That support Mazzala looking to get beyond the likes of the player in front of him, where I'm thinking we're going to put in, and, and he's obviously the main man at Liverpool, Mo Salah. Darwin Nunes, for me, from the off, has to start. Him and Bobby Firmino, I suspect, will play different roles. And if we decide to play like a 4-2-3-1, of course, we can switch that up as well. But Nunes, for me, starts. Luis Diaz on the other side. Again, seems pretty self-explanatory to me. And then bringing in the likes of Thiago as your sort of creator, maybe like a roaming playmaker type with... Fabinho can play different ways. Fabinho is an interesting player, right? Because of how we use him. We could play him as a deep line playmaker. We could play him as a ball in the midfielder. There's options there for us. So we'll have to sort of conclude what we do with him. I think to begin with, though, I'm kind of interested by halfback, letting him defend a little bit deeper, giving the players in front a little bit more room. It's halfback or register, which is slightly different, but. We'll start with halfback, right? We'll talk about that as we progress the season. Hopefully it works anyway. And then we come on to the defensive line. So lots of this is pretty simple for us. Andy Robertson goes in at left back. Him and Simakas will battle for that position. And while we're here, although he's not fit at the moment, Alisson in goal seems pretty straightforward, as does Virgil van Dijk. And then it's a conversation of, is it Canate? We'll, we'll flick through all of them. Is it Canate next to them? Potentially so. Do we go with the likes of Joel Matip? potentially so and um joe gomez is the other option i think to begin with and i think he's one of liverpool's best additions in recent years i'm gonna go with canate but i think there's not much between them and that leaves right back and i think there is a man in the team that is ready to play right back week in week out for liverpool and it's not calvin ramsey in this situation and it's not james milner in this situation the man that i've got isn't even someone i think we have to sign but this might play into who you think we should go and get and there's options there and we'll, we'll explore some of those in a moment before we go in to obviously the games in the future but jordan henderson can absolutely play in this position when you think about the fact that liverpool need maybe a more defensive right back someone that is a little bit more astute and a little bit more aware with maybe things like positioning tackling and marking if you compare jordan to Trent Alexander-Arnold, then he's kind of got those defensive, slightly more switched on attributes. So I guess he's the guy in a way. You then allow Trent that freedom that Henderson has offered him in recent years, but you do so with Jordan Henderson. And that makes me, that makes me excited. I think, it, I think it works. The stamina, the work rate, 13 crossings good enough as well. And there's a bit of an ability to play at fullback. You might be sitting there shouting at your monitor. Yes, an actual right back in, and maybe we will. But I think there's a world in where these two players, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Jordan Henderson, can, sw can quite simply switch over. I'm interested to see what you think. Right, that's then how I envisage the team to look for our opening game. Coming up soon, then, of course, we're going to have that Community Shield game versus Manchester City. I'm excited to see it, as well as Jordan Henderson's right back testimonial. He's done 10 years at centre mid. Time to move him away. So the rest of the team... I don't think there are loads of like sellable assets here. I don't think there's loads of reason to change and move things around too much. I think we're pretty well set. I'm excited to see how Harvey Elliott does in this team. Again, we can use him in slightly different ways, a backup to Mo Salah or maybe that central role with uh, with Thiago and Fabio Carvalho, probably on the other side, right? Battling a little bit with Luis Diaz or playing as the number 10 at times. We've got options and I don't think the squad is nearly as bad as the performances will have been so far for Liverpool in real life. So it's my job to make sure we get the best out of a style of play that exists at Liverpool. And again, going for the Gegen press, right? Taking over what Jurgen Klopp has built with Pep Lenders and a few others and making it even better. That's, that's my job. So let's see if we can make it a success. But let's talk about transfers, right? And yes, we could go in through, through some of the other screens and what have you. Of course, all of the Alpha videos explained a lot of this, one of which was about the match engine was on my channel, which you should definitely need to check out. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about some of this as we start to bring transfers in in upcoming episodes and some of the new things like the Data Hub has got some really interesting new sort of ways of, of looking at it. So I'm curious to that too. But let's look then at the options that we have for potential players here at Liverpool that could make us 
that bit better. Liverpool are in a situation these days where there's a lot of players who could make Liverpool better that are now interested. And years gone by, that was not always the case with Liverpool. They're a powerhouse European football again, and it allows them the ability to go and spend in the transfer market. And the budgets that we've got definitely allow us to do that a little bit. So we will do. Let's focus then first at right back. Who are the other options if we're not going to go for Jordan Henderson or Trent? Or should we play Trent at right back? I don't know. No, no, we're not doing it. So if we set the filter to just look at right backs, right, and we give it a more general view so we get a real good idea of who's here, who's available, who the possibles are. There are some that I think are out of our price range, like the right, like the likes of Hakimi and Fringpong, slightly not available to us. But as you go down a little bit on the list, there's definitely players there that strike a chord. Someone like Max Ahrens from Norwich, slightly younger, but does he have the, the overall ability? Maybe not. The English element to him as well makes him quite interesting. And there's a couple of others I want to point out too. Like if you want here and now quality, someone that's been there, done it, and would cost the, uh, the majority of the budget, but would be a real solid right back, Danny Carvajal would be, as you can see, a phenomenal option for us. Or someone like Hans Hattabor, who plays sort of a high intensity game for Atalanta, both at wing back and right back. But again, has some of those attributes that maybe Trent's lacking but is it again is it too much of a downgrade is he too similar to someone like Henderson or maybe even not as good but the point is someone like him very attainable 28 still a little bit of sell-on value and of course there's loads of other options out there for us if we ch so choose someone like Pavard is there as well as Di Lorenzo from definitely not Napoli right there's options but the central midfield conversation for Liverpool isn't going away Jordan Henderson seemingly is so not capable at centre mid I'm putting him at right back now and with the likes of James Milder getting older and the youth of today not quite being ready. There's a big conversation around central midfielders that Liverpool are likely to bring in. And of course, the big name that stands out to everybody is Jude Bellingham. And of course, he's pretty good in this year's game and an option for us, of course. But there are other options as well. Like a big one on my radar is Nicolo Barella. Phenomenal. Central midfielder can do anything you want in there be the creator be the box to box do anything he's so good the work rate phenomenal like he's an option if you want to stick with the english theme someone like james madison very versatile can play in many different areas still only 25 again would cost the majority of the budget but again a pretty good option or maybe picking up on a team that maybe are stagnating a little bit ruben neves does he does he tickle the fancy again giving fabinho a little bit more competition in there or a man that was linked to liverpool late in the window in real life Casido from Brighton is he the future of this Liverpool midfield options again so there are two areas where I think Liverpool definitely could do with more enforcements in those areas but forward areas kind of get overlooked a little bit right since the since a few players have left right Sadio Mane and the Rokarigi left the club there is maybe another position there that is being left a little bit outside of Darwin Nunes and outside of Roberto Firmino. There aren't too many striker options if you want to play Salah there. But Salah's, I think we're most Salah is you can kind of play him anywhere. But are we a third striker away from this squad being that little bit more complete? And there's, again, there's a few options there I want to look at. The likes of Memphis Depay, who's a bit of a want away from Barcelona. Could he be a contender for us? Or even someone a bit more out and out, like Ivan Tony, maybe. So what do we do with the money that we've got? It's only £42 million. The squad hasn't got loads of sellable assets in it. Like players like Oxlade Chamberlain are quite difficult to move on. And with a big injury, it's even more difficult. Someone like Naby Keita, though, who's already spoken about leaving, a year left on his contract. Do we just see? And unfortunately, I don't feel like I need tactical introductions. But here's our supporter profile page that is obviously new this year. A big waiting list for season tickets as well. And the supporter expectations are to win the Premier League, become the biggest team in England, use the youth system, play entertaining, attacking football. And this is nice as well at the bottom, which you can see. Uh, finish above Everton, United and Chelsea in the league. There's a big desire for those to happen. And of course, we'll do our best with those, as well as the club vision that we talked about before that I'm more than happy to, expect, uh, to, to accept. It was a tough year for Liverpool last year that they went into every competition with a chance of winning it. And they didn't quite do the quadruple. Well, there's a target for me to aim for. And aim for it then, we will. We will come back. This is very much the introductory episode to the series. Hopefully you're looking forward to it. Again, if you are doing, drop a like on the video. Let's get some more of these up tomorrow as well. And uh, let's go on an adventure with this Liverpool team to see if we can take them above the might of Manchester City and more notably, Erling Haaland.
the start and the fight begins now. I'm also a little bit afraid of Arsenal. Arsenal are getting better. That's worrying. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you're looking forward to more and I'll see you again tomorrow for more of this as well as I'm always live as well. I'm live right now as you watch this. If you're watching it in real time uh, over on Twitch.tv, we're doing a save with one of the, the lesser sides in the Premier League. And we'll leave that up to the mystery. Twitch.tv slash Dr. Benji for more of that as well. I'll see you over there. Hi, mate. Only me. Uh, did you want me for today's episode? Or, I mean, because I mean, I was at the start, but I, I thought there'd be transfers today. All right, call me back whenever. <laughs> Please call me back.